Another method for the TMJ projections is called the law projection. Uh, slightly different in positioning and angulation from the Schuler method. We're going to use 15 degrees instead of 25. That's going to shift our central ray entrance point to about one and a half inches superior to the upside TMJ. We're also going to rotate the patient toward the bucky. We're going to rotate the head 15 degrees. That's going to shift the uh, upside TMJ forward in addition to being projected down by the tube angle. So that's also going to shift our central ray entrance point as well. Instead of the Schuler method where you center right on the TMJ, because we're turning the head, and remember the TMJ sits about a half an inch in front of the EAM, so if we're turning 15 degrees, we should be about an inch and a half back from that upside joint. So it's not one and a half inches behind the EAM. That's putting it too far. It's about an inch behind the EAM. And I'll show you a method that I use um, just to have the patient rotate and take care of that for you. So I'm going to start off positioning with the patient in true lateral position. And this we're going to do right side first. You would do these bilaterally and do them open mouth and closed mouth for comparison. I'm going to start out positioning my patient in true lateral. Now the law does require rotation, but I'm going to do that at the end. I'm going to start, um, we've got to do bilateral images, open and closed. Here I'm, doing, I'm set up for a right lateral first. So I have my right marker already on the board, collimated down to about a three by three square. So I'm going to have my patient turn his head toward the tube first. So that's turning to the left. Then we're going to turn the shoulders just on this chair to try and get a little less OID, but we don't want any tilt. So we can try to have you scoot in a little bit and look straight ahead now. So I'm first going for a true lateral as if I were shooting the Schuler method. So I want you to look right at me. We're lining up the interpupillary line. So we're going to tilt the top of your head. Perfect. And then turn to follow my finger. Stop right there. 15 degrees caudal angle means I want to be about an inch and a half above this upside TMJ. So I could drop this tiny bit here. Now we want 15 degrees of head rotation. So you're going to turn your head slightly toward the board. And as he turns, you'll see that that is turning my central ray projection on his head farther back. So keep turning. We need it to shift about an inch and a half from this upside. So that kind of puts it near the upper outer earlobe. You don't want to be too far back because then you risk clipping the joint in the front. So set your teeth together so that your mouth is fully closed and then just expose on suspended respiration. And then we would do an open mouth view as well.